B is for bison. Now, the bison that we have in the United States are very well known, but you might not know them as bison. We tend to call them buffalo. But a scientist would tell you they're not buffalo, they are bison. Now, you might recognize all that woolly am amount of uh, collar that they have. Of course, the babies don't have them yet. But that, th and those short, crooked horns like that, well, you've probably seen an image of that on the nickel that we cir circulate as part of our money. Uh, the bison, the buffalo as we call them, were a critical source for not only food, but for the whole life of the Plains Indians in the past. And as long as the buffalo were there, as they would say buffalo, we say bison now, as long as that, those bison were there, those people could live well. And with the absence of bison, uh, they didn't live so well. Um, the few remaining pure bison of American bison are located in Yellowstone National Park. And now when they become a little bit overpopulated for that smaller area, uh, some of those bison are now being relocated to Native American lands. And so those people get to reunite with this animal that was such an important thing, not only as their food source, but even more important as their culture. So B is for bison.